Raiders gang, D4G here. I am back. What it do, baby? All right, y'all. Today we're finally gonna go over Shahara Club from Zamaya fragrances. Now again, Zamaya is an off partner of Off and On, and Zamaya the Club is an amazing fragrance that we need to talk about. So you know, right now, your boy about to let you know whether this fragrance is gonna be some gas. <coughs> Or you should really just pass on this one. That shit is fucking trash, dog. Y'all know how we get down. Let's start off with presentation. Now, because I did get this one in the Facebook group via a trade, I do not have the actual box for this one. But if you look at this picture here, you will see this does come with a very nice presentation. Nice setup, nice box. It does hold open. And even this bottle itself is extremely nice, bro. Great weight to it. Very nice, kind of reminds you of like the Karma style for, um, fragrances, or even like Killian's Angel Share. Definitely gives you those type of vibes with great weight to it. This is an amazing presentation, A1. Now let's talk about these notes. In the opening, you got apple, bergamot, pineapple, and white flowers. In the mid, you have amber, birch, and some orange blossom. And in the base, you have ambergris, musk and some oak moss the fragrance experience with this one is extremely nice bro in the opening you're going to get hit with a very nice witty citrus and slightly fruity opening once you smell this and spray it once you spray it and smell this you won't recognize what it is this is inventive dna all the way through now the two main factors in that opening is going to be that bergamot mixing together with the two fruits now even though that pineapple note that you get in there it is extremely juicy almost mouth watering in a way it is not overly sweet for my guys that don't like the sweet fruit uh, aspect of those fragrances bergamot really overpowers both the pineapple and the apple while the birch comes in you're going to get pick up that birch right out the gate and that's gonna somewhat make or break the fragrance for you as it makes its way to the transition. I BS you not, about five minutes into it, as I'm walking around, five to 10 minute mark, I'm noticing a, a bar soap smell. Now that is the one thing about this fragrance that could be off putting. Yes, you still do get some of those fruits as well as that bergamot from the opening, but that birch does give it a soft soapy smell that you're gonna get waves of it, especially if the wind is pushing. Now during the transition, the orange blossom helps out as well. So you do get a slight floral accord, but it really just adds to those citruses and slight fruits that you already have in the opening. So yes, you can notice that something else is being added to it. Now the dry down of this one does still maintain that citrus and fruit opening, but you do notice the earthy transition that it does have. A lot of that oak moss is gonna be coming out and there's gonna be a slight bit of sweetness thanks to that amber mixing together with that amber green. Now again, to me, it's not overly sweet. Even with those fruits that still maintain it throughout the opening, that bergamot citrus that you get up top does leave a lasting impression throughout the fragrance, mixing together with the birch as well as the oak moss. So my people that might think a fragrance is overly sweet, this one isn't that. The quality really does stand out on this one. That's one of the main things that does point out. And also the secondary thing is, this will be one of those fragrances that to me will be a great gift for anybody, like if you just, if somebody's trying to get into fragrances, this is one of those gifts that you just get them because they're gonna fall in love with the presentation, but that smell as well, it's just super easy to wear and super easy to like. Now that we discussed all that, let's go past method performance. Now performance on this one is gonna be around that seven hour mark. Two to three hours with great CRs, especially in that opening, and around two to three feet. Now this isn't a room filler, I would say spray it a little bit more than normal. Me, I was spraying this thing up, but I really do enjoy the opening on this fragrance. Accessibility. Boutiques, as well as online. Now, personally, I would definitely go online route. Some of the boutiques that I saw in my area that had it, they had it around that $50 to $60 range. Some was even pushing eight. But online, at the time that I did check, Intense Ooh did have this fragrance, $40 for a presentation. Bro, you can't beat that. Scent profile. Now this fragrance is listed as aromatic. This fragrance is listed as citrus. This fragrance is also listed as earthy. Personally, the woods do stand out as well as the earthy undertone that you are getting, mostly thanks to that oak moss. But then those citruses up top, yeah, that bergamot is a big player. Situations. Spring, summer, and fall. 
even your transition periods would be good for this one. Anything high heat. Personally, I don't think as long as it's un as long as it's above 70, maybe even 65, you will be good. But once you start to get too cold, winter, snow days, yeah, bro, it ain't gonna push like that. And this fragrance is literally a Swiss Army knife. It don't matter what you got going on. First impression out with the fellas, date night. It don't matter, bro. This is really a do-it-all fragrance. Max 30 for sure. And if you're one of those people that only wanted, let's just say, 10 affordable fragrances in your collection, this would be one that you would seriously have to consider. Overall, fam, this shit is some gas. Like, hey, this is a banger of a fragrance from Zamaya. <coughs> <coughs> Lot to really enjoy about this one one that citrus opening is very clean you don't get that harsh lemon flesh smell it's not there the pineapple is extremely juicy in this it is a nice pineapple and it's not overpowering and it's not too sweet the floral accord that you get from the white flowers orange blossom adds a nice touch and the birch and oak moss is really one of those main players where when it dries down while it still has a little bit of that citrus and slight fruits from the opening yeah, man, it's really one of those fragrances. You really can't help but to enjoy this one. And if you're a big fan of that Inventus DNA, Aventus or Aventus Absolute. Personally, this one is a little bit more to Absolute to me. But either way, as long as you like the DNA, you will enjoy this one. But that's just my thoughts and opinions, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all already have this? Is this your first time hearing this? Let me know. Let's have a conversation. But with all that being said, we to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of the damn D4G. Truly blessed. That's it for greatness. Yeah.